What's up, everyone? Happy, what is today? Thursday? Happy Thursday, everyone. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing, positive day. My name is Hector Lopez, a.k.a. Mr. Positive. Uh, I like to start this off with always a prayer to just enlighten you, empower you, open your mind to see a bigger picture in whatever message I'm about to deliver to you guys. So, Join me if you know it. In the holy name of Jesus, I break and dissolve any and all curses, hexes, spells, snares, traps, lies, obstacles, deceptions, diversions, spiritual influences, evil wishes, evil desires, hereditary seals, known and unknown. Amen. Woo! Power in that message. A lot of power in that message. So I wanted to just come in because I had this conversation earlier. Uh, and I wanted to just really elaborate on it. I want to hear your opinions, your questions. I'm actually really close to the phone. So if you have any questions or any whatever comments of, of whatever sort, if either you're watching it now or you're watching it later, are you a reactor or an actor? Like, do you react to certain situations or do you act like you don't understand the situation and you take a step back, analyze it, and then... Find a solution for it. Because a lot of times, like for me, especially me, like I was one of those types that reacted to everything. I reacted to the little things that obviously didn't mean anything. They, sometimes it just, they were so meaningless. Like I always overreacted to, uh, to like paying a bill or overreacted to getting a, a simple task done at work. Um... I always took my time in things or when someone told me something that maybe I didn't understand at the moment, I overreacted. Um, sometimes we are, you know, we're, we're, you know, our reactions will get us in trouble unless we take a kind of like a step back and actually really analyze, truly analyze the situation and find a solution instead of focusing on the problem. Right, because at the end of the day, there's one thing that I've learned is that every problem has a solution, either is big or small. At the end of the day, we need to be open-minded in a sense of either do we want to receive it, do we want to live it, or do we want to just throw it to the side and keep it moving? Because I think that's a problem with us now is that we never give things a chance because we assume they're not for us without us even trying to understand the situation. Have you ever felt that way? Like you ever felt like like something just didn't wasn't clicking for you and like and you were quick to react to it, got super upset, like made a bigger deal than what it really is, and then later to find out that it wasn't really that much of a big deal. It probably wasn't a lot of work to do. I mean, I see this in friendships, relationships, I see this at work, I see this in in, in so many different places that so many people overreact without even understanding the, the, the situation or actually taking a step back and really like take like really allowing the person to express themselves the right way. Um, again, it, it, it's all signs of judgment, you know, always assuming that you know it all and, and without even actually taking the time to, to, to ask. I think that's a key word. That's that's a key word that I want you guys to really understand. A lot of us were deprived or taking away the art of asking questions. And I think that before you react to something, I think you should ask something. I think you should actually take the time or take a minute or two to actually ask, "What do you mean by that?" Instead of like overreacting like, oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. You're wrong. You're this, you're that. Why don't, maybe their point of view is different than your point of view. Maybe if you can simply take a, like a simple step back and say, let me ask you a question. What do you mean by that? And maybe you can both come to a conclusion that you can agree to disagree. At the end of the day, it's okay to agree to disagree. Everybody does it all the time. But at the end of the day, it's like it will cause less hostility, less argument, uh, less fighting, uh, less people getting upset. If you just take the time to ask questions, if you don't agree with something, 
why not ask a question instead of reacting to the to to the to to the action that's occurring instead of reacting to it why don't you just ask a, a simple question like do you agree with me like if you're watching and what where does that fall into your category what area of your life do you react more in you know what i mean like what is it that 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 you can think of right now that you're mad, you're quickly or reactive. You, you you react so quick without even thinking. And listen, you're not alone. We all do it. I've done it. You know, we all do. You know, and, and it's a problem. Yeah, we always we always we always have a perception of something. We always assume that we know that what the person's actually telling us. It's the same thing that we're thinking about. And it's not true. I think that it's, if we were to take, thank you for that, uh, Martha. Thank you for sharing that. Because I think that if we were to actually take a step back and say, listen, I understand. Like, I think the word understand is such a huge word for, I don't care who you are. I think it's such a huge word for all of us. I, and, I, and, uh, t- and, and help me out here. Do you agree? You know, it's like, if you tell someone, listen, I understand where you're coming from, but I feel that X, Y, and Z. Like taking a step back and actually saying, listen, but let me ask you a question. Like, how does that really truly make you feel? You know, because if you don't agree with someone, it's okay. Everyone has the right to their personal opinion. You know, but I've learned that reacting to certain things doesn't lead to anything good. Because at the end of the day, you never even took the time to get to understand what the person was actually telling you because your assumption of what they meant behind it. Instead of asking them, what do you mean by that? Because when you ask, a one, ask someone, what do you mean by that? You're actually showing interest in their position. Because you're, you know, this is big for relationships because I think relationships need to be more of an actor than a reactor because we need to just act as if we don't know what they're talking about. We need to act as if what they're saying is valid. You may not agree with it right there in the moment, but I would highly suggest that you act on, like, act like you understand, but ask a question with a follow-up because you don't want to look like a, you know, like, what are you talking about? Like, that's, that you don't make no sense. Like, Listen, guys, facial expression, I'm a facial expression guy. Like, it, I can tell you're BSing or you're telling me the truth by your facial expressions. I am that good at reading a person. You might lie to me and say, you're, you know, whatever, you're wrong and you don't know what you're talking about. But I I, I see reactions, right? Instead of a per, And then if you are going to react a certain way, you better follow it up with a question. Because then you're actually, you know, downplaying what I'm actually telling you um you know i go through this a lot with my challengers i go through this a lot you know even in my in in my current relationship with my lady you know we we one thing that we've discussed that we don't want to be a reacting type of couple you know we want to we want to be an acting type of couple we want to we want to act as if we don't understand what they're talking about what the other person is talking about and we want to make sure that the question is asked so that we better understand the situation before we make a bigger deal than what it really is. So if you can take like, if you can take one thing out of my message today is that don't overreact, don't react, just act as if you don't understand the situation. Like if you misunderstand something, it's okay guys. And do me a favor, if it's something so serious, if it's something so true to your heart and it means something to you, don't text it. Don't text it. Don't 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 email it. Don't don't do that. Guys, grab a phone. Grab the phone and give somebody the call and say, "Listen, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what you said before. You know, I understand your point of view. I just want us to talk about it. I want to make sure that we're on the same page or maybe I might have misunderstood because I don't want to overreact the situation. I want to make sure I understand it." So, definitely something to think about, guys, and I it, it, I've been thinking about it all day. It was a conversation I had earlier uh, with my lady, and I wanted to make sure that, you know, we are in a position to better understand each other 
And I think it's better to understand whoever it is that you're around. I mean, it could be your guys, even your kids. Sometimes your kids are trying to deliver a message to you and you overreact because they get all hyper or do something crazy. Why not? It, listen, guys, if your kid is not hyper one day, I want you to analyze. I want you to analyze your, your kid when he's not hyper and when, it, it, when he is hyper. I'm going to tell you the distinct difference. Whatever you fed him when he's not active is a reason of whatever you fed him when he is super active. Trust me, that's how kids are. Sometimes, guys, like we under we undervalue the food that we give our kids. So when they're reacting, when they're acting in a certain way, we overreact because we assume that the kid is like, oh my God, he's uncontrollable. I don't know what else to do with this kid. Why not analyze his actions on his good days and his bad days or hers? I'm sorry, his or hers. Good days or bad days. Because again, we could always misunderstand a situation because kids are not, they're not communicative yet, you know? A lot of them don't know how to communicate right. So us as adults, we need to take a step back and really start as listen, we treat we can't treat these kids as kids, especially nowadays. We need to talk to them as an adult, but treat them as kids, but speak to them as an adult. Ask them questions. And if the kid asks you questions, you better be open to answering them. Don't tell them, don't ask me. If I'm right, I'm right. Just the way it is. What's up, Alex? If I'm right, I'm right. That's wrong. You can't do that either. You can't take a, a person, a, a, especially a kid, you can't take away the one thing that's going for them. Because asking questions in our era right now is so huge. And I think that, you know, being a question asker is such a big deal when you're going for work, when you're in a relationship. Guys, a lot of marriages don't last because they don't communicate. They don't ask the question because they don't want to get the other party upset. You know, we all go with the reaction state. I'm telling you guys, you need to act. Be the actor. Act as if you don't understand what they're saying. Even if you do, simply ask them a question and say, listen, I understand where you're coming from, but I want to better understand the situation. I want to let us find a solution to that situation so that we can clear it up. And guys, are you going to get, are you guys going to understand all the time? Maybe not. And that's okay. It's cool. But if you ask the question, your mind is clear. You don't want to go to bed assuming somebody thought this, 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 and that when you didn't even bother asking them the question. So please, don't be a reactor. Don't overreact. Don't go crazy. Take a step back, guys. You are in control of your life. You are in control of every situation that you encounter. How you act on it is a bigger deal than how you react with it. So please take your time. It's so, listen, I, and, and I'm not telling you this because I think I know it all or I got it all figured out because guys, I still don't have it figured out, but I'm learning. I am teaching myself to be an actor than a reactor. Guys, please take a step back. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm humble enough to say that. Like, I, I'm not perfect, guys. Never will I be perfect. I just have, you know, this, this floor right now that I'm able to relay a message to you guys, hoping that it, you know, helps you in, in your relationship, in your marriage, in your workplace, with your kids, with your friends, whatever. Because I think that that is a key factor in why we're not as successful as we should be in our life. Um, and I used to be that type of person that never liked to ask questions, right? And, I, and you guys, by the way, if you're on, feel free to ask me questions. I'm all for it. You know, if we can pick something up, maybe you can give me something that I can work with. That'll be super cool. We can just vibe off that. Um, but definitely wanted to just share with you guys very simple uh, steps that I think that can help us, you know, as a community, as a unity of, of different 
of a diverse anyway, because you know, it doesn't matter if you're a boy or girl or race or age, whatever you are, you know, communication is one language, right? Communication is one language. Um, reaction is one language. Acting, acting of a situation is one language. It doesn't have a title only but of whatever it is. I think that it's huge. I think that if we can do that, Tell me if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying. If you disagree, please, I, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm cool with that. But you better have something to back you up because I, I, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you why. I'm going to ask you why you feel that way. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to, I don't judge. I don't want to judge anyone for their personal belief system. But you have to respect someone's opinion because everyone, I, you know what? Like something that, like I've been thinking about that. If someone has an opinion of something and you disagree with it so strong, I think it's time for you guys to part ways. Because at the end of the day, if you're together and you're always clashing, even though you're being an actor and you're acting and actually asking a question and you know whatever and 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 getting um and getting better understanding of the situation. And they still doesn't connect. Guys, I think it's time to let go. I think it's time to break up. Well, not break up, whatever. But I'm just saying, I think it's time to, you know, part ways in a respectful way so that we just don't see eye to eye. You know, e you know, even though I understand you, you understand me, but we're just not vibing. Unless you guys find a different way to find another connection somewhere somewhere else. And I'm, I'm not talking about wham, marriages. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about overall relationships overall however you want to title it you know you figure it out i'm going to practice this from today on definitely martha i think is a big deal i think this is something that you know definitely respect absolutely uh i i think that it's a big deal i think that i've learned that you know in my past relationships i wasn't as communicative as i should have been i wasn't a, a, a question asker i was very a defensive type of person uh and i've learned to fix that um and, and I'm getting better at it, you know, and, and if I have a problem, I will not go to sleep until it's solved. Uh, I'm one of those that I don't care if you get upset, but I'd rather get it out of my system, ask you a question so I can better understand the situation so I can be able to sleep at night. Because some of you don't sleep at night because you're holding on to things that you have no control of. But the only way you can control that situation is by asking a question. So... That is my point. Uh, that is my opinion. Uh, again, you can agree to disagree on this. So I, you know, if you have any thoughts, any ideas, any questions, please feel free to, you know, put it down there in the comment field. Share this message with someone that you feel might it, it, it might connect with. Um, even tag friends here if you want, so that they can get the message as well. Uh, um, working together, guys, is such a huge thing. I want to be able to do this more often. I want to be able to communicate with you guys especially my followers, supporters, family, friends, whoever it is out there that's watching me. Um, you know, give me some titles. Give me some topics that I want to talk about. And you know what? If I'm not good at that, I'm not going to talk about it because, again, I got to defend myself at the end of the day. But uh, I will do my best to deliver the best message to help you guys grow, succeed. Um, again, guys, listen, I have a whole library of books that I'm reading here. I got books that I'm reading because... Is knowledge, you know, I, I'd rather read books, I'd rather listen to, you know, people that already paved the way for me so that I can improve my mindset, uh, improve my delivery, improve my vocabulary uh, and my level of understanding. So I hope you guys receive this message well. I hope it helps you. I hope it uh, impacts you in a way to go out there and actually, you know, improve your relationships. If, if it was your husband, your if it's with your spouse, your kids, your workplace, um, your friendships, whatever it is, go out there and be an actor and not a reactor. And I promise you, you will, you will thank me later if you do it that way. And I promise that you will feel so much better about yourself. And, and I think you'll be a lot more happier, uh, more fulfilled in that way. Because when, when your questions get asked, you feel so much better. Um, so if you want change, you have to be that change. So if you want change, you want to be that change in the world by asking the questions that concern you. Now that concern everybody else. You always want to ask questions that concerns you. God bless you all. And always remember to have faith, not fear. Whoop, whoop.
Peace out. Heal your spirit. Build your